Working with different clients has, is challenging but also very rewarding. You get a feel of what it's like to work in the real world environment and what the real work pace is like when working with clients. Sometimes they want things now or sometimes things are not rushed at all. Whenever you work at this internship, they don't treat you like you're a student. They treat you like you're one of their employees. And that's, uh, that's definitely what they wanted us to take away from it, how we're gonna be treated in the field after we graduate. Being able to do things that are actually professionally needed, like brochures or websites, rather than just random projects, gives me that real world experience because I know I'm going to be asked to do those things in the future, so it's nice to be prepared like that. Hi, my name's Lacey Fulton. I am the instructor for some of the communications media courses that are involved with the Adult Education and Communications Technology degree. This degree offers a one-year completion so you can go and take four classes in the fall, four classes in the spring, and then finish up with four classes in the summer and complete a master's degree within one year. The degree is really easy to use in any area that you wish as well. We have people who go into HR, we have people who are instructional technologists for school districts if they take the Praxis test and get their ITS certification. We have people who end up using this to just get a master's degree and go on to a PhD program. We have people who use the degree to teach at community colleges, to work in adult education areas. We have people who become ESL tutors. So we need people who are able to actually use aesthetics in creating their media. And our teachers need to be able to do that too. In COM 601, we do basically a overview of every type of media that students might end up encountering if they go out and teach or they act as an instructional designer in the real world. So we start with audio. We move on to photography, we dabble in a little bit of graphics, and then we end the course by doing videos and creating PSAs. October 31st, the Indiana Lions Club Fun Fest will take place at Mack Park Fairgrounds. Beginning at 3 p.m., the event includes a car show, treats, refreshments, DJ, band, and fireworks to finish the night. This display will be the largest display Indiana County has seen. Indiana County will forever be linked to the home of actor Jimmy Stewart. But there is so much more that makes it a wonderful life. Fifty years ago, a group of business owners and community leaders met in a bowling alley. The goal? To strike up ways to bring more people to these historic communities. Years later, people still come to visit the Amish way of life, from Smicksburg to the beautiful wineries and the expansive parks and trails. The men and women who led the Tourist Bureau shared some of their favorite memories. We didn't, we didn't have a budget or anything at that time to work with. So the money that we took in, we put back into the kitty so that we could promote Indiana County. Uh, because like I said, it was all volunteer in the beginning and everybody just pulled out of their pockets to get anything going that we could. IUP is a huge attraction and in 1968, the football team helped put the county and the Christmas tree growers on the map.
Welcome to My IUP Portal, your one-stop shop for IUP applications, information, and upcoming events. One login is all it takes to connect you to all the amazing IUP student services including signing up for a dining plan, checking your grades, or even paying a parking ticket. The portal is personalized based on your role to ensure that you obtain relevant information and social media feeds. My IUP will launch Monday, September 9th, 2013. My IUP, your portal to success.